we do have a special guest for tonight. We do have a newly USR and Ma'am Marla, no? <laughs> yes. So praise God. So we asked her to be with us tonight so that it will inspire you to push through your dream in planning to get your license or whenever country you wanted to go, like the United States, Canada, and the Australia. So Ma'am Marla will give you the stage right now. How, what is your preparation with your NCLEX exam? Hello, good evening Ma'am San, Ma'am Raish, good evening. Tapos sa mga new students, good evening. At saka sa mga classmates ko before, good evening. So, bali, ako pala si Marla, Marla Maples de Finio. I took the exam last March 24, uh, 2021. And then, I would just like to share some of my preparations so, right now, I'm currently working dito sa Riyadh and full-time, well, at the same time, <laughs> nag-review and then working. So, for sa experience ko nung pagkuha ko ng NCLEX, well, the preparation actually only three months. So, December 17 and then parang at the end part of the review parang hindi ko na siya masyado natapos because my exam was scheduled March 24. Well, dapat last year pa to yung exam ko but dahil na sa pandemic April last year so na-cancel siya and then okay sabi ko hindi pa siguro time na kukuha ko ng exam. Then I tried to read the Saunders by myself and hindi ko din siya natapos parang 80% lang siguro ng book yung nabasa ko and then December well I told myself na I think I couldn't do this by myself since parang under din ako sa IPAS processing and walang kahasal-hasal yung pag-process ng NCLEX ko, sabi ko siguro magpapa-enroll na lang ako sa IPAS Online Academy to help me sa mga concepts na dapat kong malaman since at time kasi parang tinatamad ako magbasa ng libro. And yung exam ko is parang it will come sooner already. So sa preparation ko, Saunders, ba nagbasa ako. Pero parang medyo nakalimutan ko din siya yung mga concepts. And then IPAS Online Academy, it really helped me a lot. Kasi yung mga concepts na yun is helpful for you to be able to answer or for you to be able to know your management sa exam. And then, sa three months ko na yon, you know, yung roadmap to NCLEX really helped me also a lot. So guys, you need to read that. They will provide it into your Moodle account. And then, every day off, during days off ko, I would really try to watch the videos kasi not all the time I can attend the live na class. So, information over load pero you need that your path of issue and your management also i took the u world sa ipas you have your 10 percent discount if you're a student and dahil nga i'm working full time i'm trying to answer but i cannot actually answer 75 items every day after that Parang at times, I will question myself if I can really do it eh. Since three months lang yung preparation ko. Imagine sa days off ko, pag nagpa-pile up ang videos ko, apat or lima. So, four hours, five hours. Pero, sige pa din. I'm still listening to the recorded videos. And if I have the time, I'm really attending the live class. So, ang preparation ko din... Parang a week before ng exam ko, actually guys, hindi na talaga ako yung parang, yung iba kasi grabe talaga yung time, especially if you're only studying na wala kang work. Di ba yung iba na po sa wall ng mga normal values, yung mga acronyms and everything. But if you're like me na wala kang time, I think you, you need to understand and then repeat, repeat, repeat hanggang parang ma-memorize mo na siya. Yun yung advice ko. One week before ng exam ko, I'm answering you world 150 questions a day, 75 items sa umaga, and then I will read the rationale, and then 75 items in the afternoon, then rationale, and then in the evening, before ako matulog, I will open my roadmap to NCLEX, and then scan yung mga concepts na medyo 
hindi ako sure or hindi ko masyadong naintindihan. And you also need to pray. Yun yung sa preparation ko. Attend the class, review your roadmap to NCLEX, answer your pre-test, post-test as much as you can. And then, yun, i-review nyo yung mga medyo hindi nyo maintindihan na mga concepts. So, number two, So, regarding sa exam day, actually, a day before ng exam ko, half day lang, inansiran ko yung 100 items na assessment ng UWorld. And then, half day lang kasi, kumbaga yung exam is broad. So, for me, you need really to take time to rest. Kasi pag medyo a day before nabasa ka pa din nabasa ng, ng book or yung mga concepts na, I think for me, For me, ah, hindi ko lang alam sa iba. I think for me, it will make me more anxious and I will forget about it. So, half day lang and then after that, wala na, nag-relax na ako, mga ganon. And then, yung kaba, your anxiety, dapat classmates before ng exam, lahat ilabas yun na yun. So that on the day of your exam, wala nang natirang kaba or anxiety so that you will just sit there and relax and answer the exam. Well, that time, sabi nila may mga times daw na 7 a.m. nagsa-start ang exam. So, two days before ng exam ko, nag-email na yung person view na 8 a.m. talaga yung exam ko. But even without, iniisip ko baka wala namang mawawala kung pupunta ako doon ng early. So, at 6.45 a.m., I went there, I just sat there, and then just waiting for the person view to open. And after that, wala, relax lang ako, parang normal day. And by the time that I sat na sa computer, parang sabi ko dapat one minute each question lang ako. Or if more than that, then mga two minutes siguro. siguro. By the time I sat there, wala lang, parang I just answer. Parang normal lang na nag answer ako ng new world. Hindi na ako kinabahan kasi parang napagod na din kasi ako eh. And then, parang yung first question sa exam ko is multiple choice. And then after that, SATA na siya lahat. Parang eight questions siguro sa lahat siya. Kaya, totoo yung sinabi ni Ma'am San, you need to tell yourself, I love SATA. <laughs> Kasi SATA siya. Five, eight, sabi ko, ano ba to? SATA na lang to lahat. Parang alternately, SATA, and then they will just give me two to three na multiple choice. Again, SATA na naman siya. And then unconsciously, nung tiningnan ko, nasa 40 plus na pala ako na nag a Hindi ko na namalayan na ang bilis-bilis na pala ng pag-answer ko. Bali, at 75, hindi ko ina-expect na after that, it will shut off. So, nung nag-shut off na yung computer ng 75, uh, after 75, wala na akong 76 na question. Yun na, nandun na yung kaba ko. Lahat ng kaba ko, lumabas na. And I couldn't concentrate na mag-answer ng research questions kung ano-ano na lang yung pinag answer ko. But then, thank God, sabi ko wala na akong magagawa. Parang sabi ko na lang sa self ko, ah, I will be done. Sabi ko, Lord, I will be done. Sabi ko. And then, denial pa ako that time na nakuha ko. Parang nakatapos yata ako, one hour and 20 minutes lang. Sabi ko, did I really analyze yung questions, sabi ko. Uwi na ako, but then nandun, hindi ako makafocus. Gabi na yung isip ko na hindi na ako makafocus after ng exam. Pero akala ko talaga hindi ako nakapasa kasi sa 75 na questions ni isa, wala akong answer doon na sure ako. <laughs> And then, so prior to that, since nabigay ko na yung mga recommendations ko sa inyo, and then siguro pag kukuha kayo ng exam, if you're tired, you can rest. Kasi parang doon ko din na-realize yung importance ng rest. If I'm tired, I usually sleep mga two hours and then again, I will study. Regarding pala sa na-experience ko, actually, hindi basta-basta yung nangyari sa akin. Sometimes I also regret na bakit hindi ako nag-enroll sa IPAS Online Academy August pa lang. Kasi sabi ko tama talaga na dapat ang preparation mo is six months sa NCLEX. As much as possible, you need to read your La Charity, 
actually hindi ko na din nabasa yung La Charity. I think for me, roadmap to NCLEX, your recorded videos or your live lectures is enough and your U world is enough for that. Kasi yung U world, yung test taking skills mo, doon siya papasok eh. Tapos yung endurance mo, kasi yung NCLEX itself is tiring, parang U world siya. Kaya nag-pray na ako kay Lord, please Lord, wag mo naman na akong bigyan ng 100 plus na questions kasi hindi na yun makakayanan ng brain ko. Parang doon lang ako hanggang sa 100, sabi ko. Regarding pala sa na-experience ko, December ako nag-review and that time nagre-accreditation yung hospital namin sa JCI. So it's like I need to study tatlo yung review, yung JCI na mga questions. Plus, yung quality improvement project namin sa unit namin. But still, sabi ko, dapat kayanin ko talaga to with the help of my prayers. It was not really an easy road for me when I took my NPLEX. And by February, I need to renew my ikama. Uh, sa mga taga Middle East, sa mga taga Saudi, alam niyo yung ikama. I need to renew my ikama, pero hindi siya na-renew. Hindi ko alam ko anong problema. So grabe yung stress ko na sabi ko, Lord, please, hindi na to pwede na makakancel ulit ang exam ko. Kasi ang ATT ko, kumbaga, ang dami na na namang i-renew. At saka, alam nyo yung mag review ka ulit. Parang yung agony ko, prolonging your agony, parang ganon. Alam nyo guys, uh, bali a day lang before ng flight ko, nabigyan ako ng exit re-entry kasi may kakilala yung asawa ko doon sa government relations. A week before ng flight ko, sabi ko, hmm, sabi ko baka hindi na talaga tumatuloy ang pag-uwi ko kasi hindi na rin yung ang ikama ko. I would usually go to our HR from night shift para i-follow up, follow up, follow up. And then after that, hindi ako makatulog ng tama. At 2 p.m., I will wake up. Na feeling ko yung brain cells ko namamatay na sa stress. Sabi ko makakapasa pa kaya ako nito. So a day before, nabigyan ako ng exit re-entry. Basta sa isang condition, I need to come back sa Riyadh before April 1. Okay, sabi ko, ha na ako. makaka na ako. Pagdating ko na naman ng March 13 sa Naiya, ang stress ko na naman kasi that time, yun yung nag yung OFW sa pag-uwi. So, ang sabi nila, parang punong-puno yung hotel. So, doon ako sa isang hotel. Ayoko nang sabihin po anong name nun. Doon ako nilagay. Actually, hindi siya hotel. It's a motel <laughs> na super liit lang. Cubicle lang siya. Wala siyang window na parang masusuffocate ka doon sa loob. Actually, nakipag-ano pa kami, nakipag-away pa kami sa OWA para marilis ako. Hindi ako doon makatulog na that's the time na sana na dapat ako mag-review ulit, mag-answer ng U World. So, for two nights na nandun ako, yung tulog ko is 3 hours. Hindi na nun ako makatulog. So, sabi ko kay Lord, Lord, is this a sign na I couldn't make it? Sabi ko. Kasi ang dami na nangyari. And then, fortunately, after two days, naka-change na ako ng accommodation ko at akong nagbayad ng lahat for the sake na dapat comfortable ako sa preparation ko sa exam. So, doon na yung You world, you world, hindi na ako naka-attend guys ng pharma actually. Tapos yung na-attendan ko na lang yung SATA ni Sir Ryan, yun na lang. So sabi ko, yung mga times na yon, even nung nagkakaproblema ako sa ikama ko, You know, there were, there were always be people na magmamotivate sa inyo na Marl, mga pagsubok lang yan. <laughs> sabi, yung isa kong kasama, mga pagsubok lang yan. Sabi niya, kaya mo yan. Kaya yun nga yung sinabi ko, you need to surround yourself with people who are optimistic. Kasi yun sila yung mga tao na they will pull you up when you think na you couldn't make it. And then yun nga yung sabi ni Sir Jay na hindi ko makalimutin is don't doubt yourself. Pero hindi naman sa point na overconfident 
ka, don't doubt yourself. Kasi pag na-doubt yung self niyo, parang yun na parang domino effect na siya na parang hindi ka na makakapag-concentrate na feeling mo. Wala na, baka ma-fail ka. And then, you really need to pray a lot, guys. You really need to pray a lot. Alam niyo parang every other night na rosary ako na, please Lord, ang laki na ng ginasto ko. Grabe na yung stress ko. Sabi ko, please Lord, dapat talaga ipasa ko tong exam ko kasi ang dami nang nangyari sa akin. A month before hanggang sa dumating ako don sa quarantine facility ko. Kaya yun nga, first is you need to attend yung online nyo na review. And then second is you need to surround yourself with people na genuine and optimistic. And then number three is you need to pray a lot kasi alam naman ni God kung ginawa mo yung best mo eh. So, it's important na you need to understand your concept and then your management and then answer ka lang ng answer ng you world mo. Yun lang, nakapasa ako. And then another one is for those people na on their 30s or 40s. Kasi sa akin, nagsabi ako sa self ko, I'm 30 and is my brain sharp pa din ba siya? Like, a 23 year old well nakayanan man ng brain ko na 30 ako nakapasa din ako kaya kayad niyo din yan tama yung sinabi ni Ma'am Marla one week before her exam she answer alam pinush yung sarili niya to answer 150 questions per day i don't know if i mentioned it to you Ma'am Marla but most of the students who actually followed that will stop at 75 tapos kinakabahan na sila because the sana sila sa 150 eh so <laughs> 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 nung kumuha ko ng exam wala to lang kaba after na na exam grabe na yung kaba oh. kasi nasa oh. sa 150 eh kaso yung iba ay, hindi ko ini encourage yung mag answer ka lang ng 75 kasi what happened 75 lang yung preparation mo so Kapag lumagpas ka ng 75, tired ka na. You're not prepared to answer the maximum, di ba? So, most of the time, I encourage the student to answer as many questions as they can. And yung pag-answer ng question, I would advise that per topic, para medyo mas focus-focus ka lang. Then, kapag natapos mo na yung concept, dun ka na mag-rumble. Okay, rumble na yung mga questions mo. And then, you try to reach... 150. So, on my lectures, I usually have like 20 questions per day. So, 20 questions, dagdagan nyo na lang muna. Okay, no, another 20. So, pag starting nyo pa lang, start pa lang kayo. Kasi nga, sa 20 questions, lalo na na yung mga matagal na nag-graduate. Okay? Yung 20 questions, masakit na sa ulo. So, <laughs> try nyo dagdagan ng 10 questions. Okay, another, then, after a week, try nyo another 10 up until you reach 150. Ganon. Okay, parang hindi masyadong masakit sa ulo. Guys, 2011 pa ako nag-graduate. Kaya kaya nyo yan. Kaya kaya yan. Kaya nyo yan, oo. 